if you want to create your nav bar to be a little bit more beautiful and stunning. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can create a full menu navigation in Framer. Let's go. Okay, so here we are in Framer and I've got my nav bar already set up, but what I want to do is make it so when I click on this plus button on the right hand side, it'll open a full menu navigation. So to do this, all we need to do is to click into our component and I'm going to select the frame that's going to be our trigger. And now if I go up to interactions at the top right on our properties panel, I'm going to create a new event and we're going to call this open modal and we're going to click on add. So now if I go back to my homepage and select the navbar component, I can now add an overlay on the trigger of when someone presses that open modal state. So I'm gonna add this. And as you can see, if I click on done and press on play, now when I actually click on that element, it'll actually open my full menu. So in a nutshell, that's actually how you create this full menu effect by actually setting it up as an overlay and setting a trigger within your navigation bar. Now we can take this a step further and we're actually gonna go and in and style this. So to style our overlay, I'm actually going to create a new frame. I'm gonna set the width and height to be 100%. I'm gonna make sure that covers 100% of my frame. Uh, now the reason I'm doing this and putting a new frame over the top of this overlay is because by default, we don't actually have many options in terms of styling or even animation on this overlay here. Okay, so now I can design my full menu. So we'll use a new gradient feature within Framer and we'll create a bit of a background here. So I'm gonna grab some colors from my Figma on my second monitor. And let's add a gray here for the background and we'll also make this go to black. So it's nice and clean and nice and modern. Now I wanna have a few navigation options. So we'll just put one in here for now called projects. So I'm just gonna add this as some text and we're gonna make the typeface be Poppins, which is my favorite Google font. And we're gonna set the weight to be bold. And now if we size this up, let's go much bigger. Let's make it 90. And if we change the color to white, now I've got some text here. Now I could just link this and make it work like any other sort of link, but I actually wanna have an animation. So when I actually hover, it actually plays some sort of effect. So to do this, what I'm actually gonna do is wrap this text in a new frame. I'm gonna make sure that text is part of the frame and we're gonna call this navigation link. And I'm also gonna set the width and height to be auto. So it's automatically going to take up as much space as it needs. And now if I right click and go create component, and we'll call this again, navlink. So within this, I can actually design uh, the animation state or the hover state of when actually someone hovers on my link. So I'm gonna create a new state of hover and we're gonna go into insert and we're going to grab an icon from Google. And I'm just gonna search for arrow. And what I want is an arrow right. So I'm gonna make it, oh, maybe we can find a better one than that. Arrow to forwards. Yep, that looks much better. So now if we set the direction to uh, sit horizontally and if we change this color here uh, to be white as well, if we actually preview this, you notice that when I hover, it actually shows that arrow, which looks great. Now I also wanna add like a hover state to the color. So I'm just gonna grab another gray, which we're gonna use and we're gonna set the actual color of my text. So I'll make sure the text is selected to be the gray. And we also wanna set it to be the gray on the icon as well. So if I go in and preview this, you'll notice that it changes to gray. All right, awesome. So now if I go back and I can duplicate this component that I've created a few times, and if I set the layout to be stack on my overlay here as well, this frame within it, and if I actually click on preview, you'll notice when I press this plus, my overlay or my full menu now loads and I have the animation for these states. And because we've got these text set up here in my components as variables, I can actually change it for each one. So we'll call this one projects, we'll call this about, and we'll also call this contact. Now, the one thing you'll notice is I can't actually set a link here. So the way to do this is to click back into that component and we're gonna go and add a new link within that component. And now this is really important. We're gonna click on this little plus and we're gonna create a variable and we're gonna call this link. So now if I actually go back to my homepage within this component here, I can now add a link. And because I got no other pages on my website, we're just gonna link everything to home. 
just like that. And let's make it so everything is left aligned as well. And let's just add some padding around the edges, maybe a little bit more. So we have a little bit of spacing. So now when I click on that plus yet again, it opens my modal here and everything is linked and has the hover states as well. So the last thing I need to do is actually add a button to close this modal because you'll notice when I press on this plus, there's no way to close it unless I actually clicked on one of these links and it took me to another page. So to do this, I'm going to get grab another icon. I'm gonna drag this into my canvas and I want something like a close icon. So let's just search for close. Great. Perfect. And let's also set the color of this close button to be the gray I've been using on my hover states. Now, I don't want this to sit in the grid that it's currently in. I actually want it to break the layout and be at the top right of the frame. So to do this, I'm gonna change the positioning to absolute. So it's actually sticking out from the frame itself. And we're gonna change the top to be uh, 20 and the right to be 22. And we also don't want it to have any sort of variables on the left hand side. So let's make this a little bit smaller because it's feeling a little bit too big. And let's preview this. Let's see what it looks like. So I click on this. This works great. Everything works here. But now I need to set up the trigger to actually close the button. So to do this, all I need to do is click on that component, go to interaction and set the interaction to be close overlay. I'm just going to make it on click. So now when I actually preview this yet again, I can open it and I can also close it. So the last thing I'm gonna do is actually add some animation to actually bring this, uh, this nav bar to life. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that I've got my rows selected here, which is the frame containing all my content. And we're going to add a new effect. So I'm gonna make it so when this appears, so when it actually comes into frame, it's gonna slide in from the left-hand side. I'm gonna make it the offset to be negative 100. And we're gonna make the stiffness 150. So it's a bit more smooth. So now when I actually go back here and we'll just make sure that everything's set correctly. When I press on play and click on this plus, you'll see it will fade in from the left-hand side. All my interactions are working. And when I close this, it'll also fade out. Now I can do with some other things like make it so when I actually hover on this component here, it'll actually play an effect. So I can make it so uh, we set it so it will play whatever we want, but there's heaps you can sort of do in terms of animation and sky's the limits. But in a nutshell, this is how you actually create a full menu navigation in Framer. And of course, you can design this to be however you want. You can get super creative with it. There's so many different ways you can actually create a full menu navigation. So if you enjoyed this video and you want more Framer content like this, feel free to consider subscribing to the channel because we're gonna be putting out a lot more content in the coming months. And if you want something more, feel free to check out the Ultimate Framer Masterclass by Flux Academy, which is my course on teaching you Framer from A to Z so you can become a master and get paid what you're worth. But until then, I'll catch you later.